everybody. We wanted to introduce you to the Bible translation project of the Bakun people. Um, the goal of this translation project is that we translate the Word of God so that it is faithful to the original text of Scripture. That means we don't add any of our own ideas, we don't change any of God's ideas, and we don't take, any, take out any of the ideas that are in Scripture. Another goal that we have is that the Bible translation in Bakum is understandable. That means that the street kids all the way to the old lady who's never gone to school will be able to understand it. Another goal that we have is that it is Bakum that people speak. Another goal that we have is that the Bible translation of the Bakum would be accepted. When we say accepted, we don't mean that we take out what's offensive in the message of the Bible. What we mean is, is that if there is a something that causes people to stumble that's not spiritual, for instance, the writing system or the color of the Bible cover, we want to remove those obstacles so that the only obstacle will be, the only thing to offend would be the message of the Word of God. So those are our goals. And um, in order to accomplish those goals, we have a team of eight national translators. And Dave is over four of those people, and I'm over the other four. And um, right now, working in the Translation Center, we have Dave with his team. And Dave is going to talk to us a little bit about his role. And the next time, we'll talk to other guys about their roles. So come with me in here. So part of what we do here is uh, we do a lot of exegesis, which means working to understand the, uh, the text of the scripture before we translate it. And so what I have to do pretty much every, uh, every time we start a session is to work out the exegesis of the text. And so right now we're working on the text of Abraham's calling. And uh, when you work through exegesis, you're taught in seminary to, you know, read commentaries, study the, the Hebrew of the text, um, just seek to understand it, which is great. But an extra part of the exegesis that I have to do here is to think through some of the problems we're going to encounter in translation, problems that we're going to encounter here in Cameroon that we wouldn't encounter if uh, we were translating it into English or another Western language. And so one of the things I'm working on right now in the story of the, the call of Abraham is that God says to Abraham, anyone who curses you, I will curse, and anyone who blesses you, I will bless, which seems pretty straightforward. But the problem is the words for bless and curse in Bakum, they have a different word for what God would do and another word for what man would do. So in English, we think of those as being the same, um, but in Bakum, they can't use the same word for those two things. But when we're going through to translate it, they hear the French, they hear whoever blesses you, I will bless, and they just want to use the same word because it's the same word in the French text. And so what I have to do is I have to be able to head off those problems. So fortunately, I have a bunch of resources from people who have done translation in Africa and in other places. And I'm able to look in there and they say, hey, watch out for this problem. Make sure when you're talking about this, you talk about this word. Can this word bless that we're using for God, can it really be used for a man as well? Uh, when we did the creation story, it says God blessed the seventh day. Um, can God bless a day using this word in Bakum? And they translated it using that same word. But when we talked about it, they, they realized that that doesn't make any sense in Bakum. So they were coming up with a translation that seemed to be accurate, but it didn't make any sense. So as I do exegesis, I wrestle through the text, I read the text in multiple languages, and then I also have to think about what, what, it's gonna, what problems are going to come up because we're dealing with an African language, a Bantu language, as opposed to Western languages. So it's really interesting. I really enjoy it. It takes a lot of work, uh, but it's also a lot of fun. Thanks for this time, and I uh, look forward to talking to you guys again next time.